Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to do an update on the update on the Victoria Alonzo situation. Yep. Uh, the daily dose of Dismal Disney today is that she is thinking about suing Disney. Yes. Now her lawyer came out and said that, oh, that none of this is true and there's serious consequences. Serious consequences. She was silenced as a gay Latina. Oh, bullshit. She was silenced as a gay Latina. We knew that was going to, we knew that card was going to be played. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. Bullshit. She was, si she was gotten gone. And we even said in the other video, I don't necessarily even think it was because of the other film, even though that was kind of shitty. She was gotten gone because Marvel projects are way behind. They're mostly tied up in uh, with the special effects and post-production, which she's in charge of. Apparently, according to these uh, VFX um, professionals, she created a toxic environment, had a block list, and was a, basically a tyrant. That is probably why she got gone. They might have just used the contract as a reason. Yes. Um, I have seen this happen at companies I've worked at where they've tried to get rid of executives so they don't have to pay them, they don't have to buy them out, and they basically look for a reason that they failed the company or they broke their contract or whatever to be able to get them out the door without having to pay. Thing is, if she's gonna argue that she was fired because she was a woman and not white and a lesbian, she's gonna have a problem here because if anybody else was fired and they were and for the same reasons and they were a guy, they wouldn't have recourse, but because gay Latina gives her some kind of, you know, shield, which I found funny because uh, we talked about the other, the other blog saying that, you know, oh no, she wasn't fired for that reason, remember? Yeah, they, they were they were all like, oh no, she wasn't she wasn't fired. They they got rid of her because uh, you know she was a tyrant. She's difficult to work with, and um, but it wasn't it wasn't because of the uh, the MCU being in the the crapper. This is what they were trying to argue. No, no, you all you haters are saying she got fired because she's quote unquote woke. You that's not why. It was because of of this the FX being behind and, yep. and post production, which is what we said. Yep. And now they're like, no, no, she got fired because she was she was a, a gay Latino. Um, she got fired. I can tell you exactly why she got fired. There are two reasons why she got fired, right? Or well, there's going to be two stories. There's, there's the truth as to why she got fired. And then there's the, uh, corporate CYA reason as to why she got fired. The truth is she got fired because somebody had to pay for phase four being a disaster. That, well, that and everything's got pushed back. Everything, everything's been shifted repeatedly. Just across the board. Marvel is in a, a battered state right now. And they're laying the blame at her feet. So that's... Well, to be fair, probably a lot of it is. I'm sure. On her. I'm going to be sure. honest. I don't know for a fact, but if I was a betting woman, a lot of it probably is on her. So somebody had to take the fall. She's the fall gal for that. The corporate reason, the CYA reason, is they had to find... And again, they would have known she was working on this other movie. But they had to find a reason to be able to let her go without there being any legal recourse. And look, Disney's got some of the best lawyers on the planet. You know, they, I guarantee you, they probably had this in the works for a while. Um, they probably, you know, went through her contract with fine tooth comb. And again, they knew she was working on this Argentina movie and they were probably like, yeah, you know what? But that's how we got her. That's how we got her because technically she wasn't allowed to well, do that. Well, she showed so. up to the, to the Oscars with that group instead of like the Marvel group allegedly. So I'm like, one thing I can tell you that about her main job. Yep. One thing I can tell you about Disney is if you're part of the Disney family, you're expected to be unflinchingly loyal to Disney. It's like the mafia, but Pretty with mouse ears. Mickey mafia, the Mickey mafia mouse. And they don't kill you. Uh, no, they'll just kill your career. Your career is fair game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Almost three hundred thousand subs, less Woo. than a thousand to go. Thank you so much for the support. Um, yeah. So last night there was talk that she was going to sue. I kind of wonder, now this thing is going to get dragged out publicly. So there's talk that Amazon might hire her. I'm like, I, I don't think they would at this point. I think she's radioactive, especially if she's vindictive. Well, it sounds like, yeah, because she's the one that's been given, you know, a hard time to the VFX people. According to the VFX people, I'm just telling you what they're saying, yeah. that she was behind a lot of the, the toxic environment and a lot of the problems and that she would actually have block lists. And the thing is, if they, if they have trouble getting people to begin with, if half the people are blocked because they pissed her off in some way, 
that that's going to really limit how many people they can get. And they need help because they need Marvel and, and Star Wars. Otherwise, we get more of that baby Yoda shit. I know, right? It's like a stack of flour just, you know, wee. You know, oh and, my God! The the backflip no, in the middle. That, that was not. Yeah, that that yeah, was bad. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's pretty bad when uh, special effects in the original Star Wars look better than yeah. Than, uh, even the puppet, they would have done better than that. And then we saw like recent effects from Marvel and movies that are released theatrically. Like Ant Man, the Wasp, and how yeah. bad it looked. Everybody's like, like, what the hell? Yeah, Mo- you know, Modok never should have, never should have uh, left the launching pad, right? I, I mean, anybody would look at that and be like, my God, that is the most ridiculous looking thing. And there, there are so many instances of, of Modok looking a lot more threatening in the comics than the chubby baby face, you know, version of him that we got. A- anyway, uh, we're gonna talk about this, but this is not. Um, not good news for Disney because you look for Disney news and it's drowning out their big news. They're like, look, guys, we're going to raise your minimum oh, wage. Yeah, we didn't do a video on that. The, the the unions won. Disney's raising them immediately to $17 an hour start. And then, of course, depending how long you've been there, your pay reflects the raise. Yeah. And then um, and they're also getting a dollar back pay since uh, last October. Um, retroactive, and then uh, come by December of this year, they're going to be up to eighteen dollars an hour, which puts them ahead of Universal. It was funny; they must have been really worried or been desperate because a couple weeks ago, a month ago, they were like taking stuff away from their offer, and now they came back giving them everything they wanted, including extra stuff like that Universal gives that giving yeah. people tail. Yeah, and like here you go, you can have everything you want now. It says to me they are desperate. But they're they're trying to you know save face now with investors. They're announcing you know they're going back to this real estate thing. They're like, hey, eighteen dollars an hour, guys, yay! And then the big Disney story is Victoria Alonso is going to sue you, right? Because she's a woman and she's she's a gay Latina, and it's 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 it's, it's the phobia. I don't think so. It's called incompetence. I love this. You can't be incompetent if you are if you aren't white, straight, and male. Bullshit. Yeah. So let's let's talk about this because again, I don't think. Uh, Disney would have fired her if they didn't think they had legal grounds to do it because she is such a big wig at Disney. Like, you can't just terminate somebody like that without having your ass covered. And she's going to say it's not incompetence. And whose fault is it that all these films are delayed yeah. and uh, repeatedly and due to post-production issues? If, if, if That's her job. She's ultimately responsible for that. All right. So Victoria Alonso, I love this headline. Victoria Alonso weighing long legal action against Disney, Marvel over sudden firing. Serious consequences promises lawyer Patty Glazer as Mouse House points at indisputable breach well, of contract. Good luck suing Disney. I know a lot of lawyers won't even touch it. Yeah. So in a statement released Friday for the now former president, physical and post-production VFX and animation production for Marvel Studios. God, that's a hell of a title. They keep doing that. Uh, the, titles. the litigator who is already taking Disney owned Lucasfilm to court for the canning of the Star Wars TV series, the Acolyte uh, EP, Karen McCarthy. So this is the same. This is because well, the only ones that will probably challenge Disney. Yeah. So before we get, man, we keep taking these detours, but I can tell you we've worked with uh, LA lawyers before and some of them will not even go near Disney. They'll take on any other studio, but they will tell you we're not going to touch Disney because there's no way in hell we're going to win. Or even if we won, it's going to cost you so much. It's not worth fighting. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's the truth. Um, so yeah. So now they're they're dealing with the uh, the Aqualite situation, with, which we talked about that she was uh, hired than fired, supposedly. And now they're taking this one on, too. So here's their statement. Yeah, but that's a little different, though. Yeah. I mean, because apparently she was given the job, passed on another job, and then they turned around and changed their mind. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother issue. But it seems like Disney's getting it from from all sides now. So here's a statement. Uh, the idea that Victoria was fired over a handful of press interviews relating to a personal passion project. That's not what people think she was fired no, over. About human rights and democracy that was nominated for an Oscar in which she got Disney's blessing to work on is absolutely ridiculous. Because that's not why she was fired. <laughs> Victoria, a gay Latina who had the courage to criticize Disney, was silenced. Oh, yeah, they're trying to blame it. Okay, yeah. Then she was terminated when she refused to do something she believed was reprehensible. Like what? Disney and Marvel made really poor a really poor decision that will have serious consequences. There's a lot more to this story, and Victoria will be telling it shortly in one form or another. She's I know, okay. I know what she's talking about. She's claiming that they are firing her because she challenged Bob Chapek about the "Don't Say Gay" parental rights education thing. Yeah. That that she published. She was on it. She was did it publicly, and that she's trying to claim that that's what they're mad about. But if that was the case, they would have gotten rid of her when they had Bob Chapek in there. 
They wouldn't wait till now. Yes. To, I, do I think that they're using that as an excuse to get rid of her? The 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 Oscars thing and the other movie? Yes. Do I think that's why she's getting fired? No, I think she's getting fired because she's done a piss poor job at Marvel and they had to get, have a reason to get rid of her. Yeah, I think they would have let it slide if... She was bringing it. If she was bringing it. And I think they're... Yeah, because I've seen... Again, I've seen this happen before where executives have gotten fired. They're like, hey, you know, we'll let things slide as long as you're bringing it. But like... If you're taking a little too much, you know, time off or you're doing and that was in the case of my one boss at the one company I worked for. He was always out. He was always out on fishing trips. He was always out on, you know. And so when they got rid of him, they basically cited the fact that he took a hell of a lot of time off and he wasn't uh, steering the ship the way mm-hmm. he should be. And that was their official excuse. The reality is, is he was a colossal pain in the ass. Nobody liked him. But they couldn't just say, hey, we're firing you for being a colossal pain in the ass because then they would have to give them like severance, big, big ass severance. <laughs> Instead, they're like, yeah, hey, you uh, you took too much time off and it negatively affected the company. Here, I was going to say, this Disney, Disney did issue a statement. Yes. Okay. Uh, Disney said, it's unfortunate that Victoria is sharing a narrative that leaves out several key factors concerning her departure, including an indisputable breach of contract and a direct violation of company policy. A Disney spokesperson told Deadline, we will continue to wish her the best of the future and thank her for her numerous contributions to the studio. But, you know, they're going to they're doubling down here. Yeah, you can see here's where she talks about where she went up and called Chapek out and they're trying to claim it's that. That was months ago, almost a year ago. And and chapek has gone like no one cares. Yeah, it's curious. It's curious that uh, she's getting fired under Iger and not Mm -hmm. Chapek. Chapek probably didn't have the balls to fire her or Chapek was completely outgunned, outnumbered at Disney because, you know, but yeah. So here comes Bob, Iger, her old pal, Bob Iger mm-hmm. comes back in is like, yep, get your shit together. Vicky, you're out the door. You're out the door. Well, they're saying here that deadline, this is what I've heard from many places. She didn't initially seek permission to produce the Argentina 1985 film. So that's lots of people could bring it up is that. One site said that she did, but most sites say that she didn't even get permission to do it. Now, I think Disney found out about it and they were like, and I guess they made an exception for her. They already made an exception, but they asked her not to do promotion, not to do interviews, not to, you know, because yeah. it was going to be competing, you know, it, she was going to be working with a competitive, a competing studio, Screaming which for, is yeah. against the contract. Yes. And they still were letting her do it, according to what the sources are saying. Um, it was when she refused to, to not appear for different presentations and the made sure she came to the Oscars with them, um, with the director instead of with the Marvel team. And that's why it happened after the Oscars. They said they, if they were mad at her about the Chapek thing, they would have gotten rid of her when Chapek was there. If Chapek was pissed about it, he would have gotten rid of her. He's long gone. They're yeah. stepping over Chapek. So if Chapek was pissed, anything he was pissed about, Iger doesn't give a shit about. It has nothing to do, one has nothing to do with the other. Oh, ironically enough, I was just talking about how how my one boss got fired basically for taking too much time off. Um, they said that despite her affable demeanor to the press, Alonzo was sometimes challenging to work with That's at the House hearing. of Bans. The punishing schedule aside, one insider cited how Alonzo would take days off to conduct her own personal business affairs producing the Argentina 1985 Oscar nominated film. And this ultimately resulted to some degree in a log jam of Marvel films and TV series in the post-production pipeline, causing major theatrical releases. What have we been saying? While many studios suffered delays in post-production due to the pandemic. That's way past pandemic. Yeah. Disney on several occasions delayed its bigger movies, Doctor Strange, Thor, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Yeah. Now the Marvels. And uh, yeah, they said uh, in the new cost cutting era, Iger 2.0 era, uh, which um, was chiefly this. All of this is under Alonzo's domain. One of those line items is that all this needs to be reined in. So basically, um, her loyalty was not to Disney primarily. She was off flitting around doing her own pet projects. They made an exception for her. She kept taking her own time. Then she was doing it on her own time. Right. But she kept taking days off. And then as a result... Um, the stuff was pushed back because it wasn't getting finished. And that's when the VFX houses were getting dumped on um, and more and more and more because they were like demanding the moon um, because she didn't do her job. It was last minute. That saying poor planning on on your part, yeah. you know, and that's what happened. And unfortunately, these people are the ones that got dumped on. And then as a result, what came out wasn't very good. And now the the, the, the effects people are being blamed for it. But I think there's, it's more to do with uh, poor planning on Marvel's end, which would be directly on back onto Alonzo. 
Yeah. It's and, her job. And, that was her department. Yeah. It's like you had one job. Your main job is to make sure Marvel is as good as it can be. Now, I do think it goes way beyond that. I think she was, as I understand it, behind a lot of the dumbass decisions in phase four. Mm-hmm. And she sounded like she was a bit of a bully. And I think she was even bullying Kevin Feige to some degree. Um and uh, they just saw well, the op- speculation. But that so. speculation. But I think you're probably right. They saw the opportunity to get rid of her. And, uh, you know, they're probably like, good, we can we can get rid of her before she does to the X-Men what she did to poor Namor. Oh, I'm sorry. No, sorry Namor. 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 Um, it, it's just it sounds to me like Disney gave her chance after chance after chance. She stood up and, and, and publicly did what she did to, to Bob Chapek and she didn't get in trouble for it. She was. Allegedly not asking into this movie. They found out about it. They're still going to make an exception for her and asked her not to do promotion. Um, and she still did it anyway. Yeah. It just sounds like a very entitled individual thinks they could do no wrong or could do whatever they want. And then they're going to, knowing that if, if they get in trouble, they're going to scream diversity shield. Um, I am, I am, I'm gay and I'm a Latina. You can't fire me. It had nothing to do with that. And which, which is funny because even their outlets that were supporting her. Like, those trolls think she got fired because she was, you know, a, a lesbian. That's not why. You're right. That's not why. We said that. We said we agreed with you. That's not why. Because it's not why. She got fired for being bad at her job. And difficult and, and, and toxic, according to the people that work with her. Yeah. And she didn't do her job, too, because she was busy out doing something else she wanted to do. Because she thought she was that she could get away with whatever. That she, I'm Victoria Long, so I can do whatever she I want. She had the diversity shield, and she was working on a diversity movie for diverse people. And Disney should understand that, because they're a progressive company. But guess what? The chips are down. All Mickey cares about is the cheddar. And I so, do not think it had anything to do with that movie, other than the fact that they needed a reason, and that gave him a reason. Yeah, that's exactly. Like I said before, I have seen this. Working in the corporate world, I have seen this on a couple of different occasions where an executive is not working out, but it's very, very hard to get rid of executives sometimes. You can't fire them as easily as a grunt, so you have to case build and you have to find a loophole to kick their ass out the door. And in this case, they're like, yeah, you basically took company time, worked on a competitor's project. We told you specifically not to promote the competitor's project. There we are at the Oscars, so that's our out. But the reality is, is you're a colossal pain in the ass. You've cost us millions and millions of dollars Phase four is in shambles. Marvel's in shambles. We're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to clean up your mess, Vicky. Put your shit in the box. Out the door you go. Mm-hmm. You know that's. But that it's not works. to do with. But just it's insulting that she's gonna go with. Well, she's 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 not white and she's lesbian. That's their that that's insulting. That's as insulting to uh, to people that aren't white and are, and are lesbians. Yeah. Well, people are like, yeah, she's basically. She might be a Latina, but it's 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 complicated. She's definitely playing that card. Yeah, no, I mean now card. you just now you just play it into it. the people that you said you hate. You just played into them because you just gave them more fodder against you because you used the card that we even gave you a pass and said no, no, it has nothing to do with that. Yeah. that that's bullshit. That that Laney gossip's correct. Had nothing to do with her being a lesbian and, and Latina. And then she comes out. You fired me because I'm a lesbian Latina. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. So whatever. Uh, you know, they're probably gonna wind up just paying her off to shut her up. But I'm sure, I'm sure she's got millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. She's been at Marvel for years. Uh, Nothing of value has been lost. N- no. Maybe at this point, Disney can actually pull Marvel out of a tailspin. Maybe we can get actual proper X Men and not the uh, X Men. They're, they're sort of called the mutants or whatever. Oh, I hope not. That's what they're gonna do. I think that was probably they've already probably set that up because that's what the rumor is. Uh, All right, so we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.